Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine, standing in front of my local regional airport, where normally you'd need a special radio or scanner to pick up the transmissions coming from that air traffic control tower. Well, not anymore. I'm going to show you how to take a vintage AM FM transistor radio and modify it so you can pick up the VHF band and listen to those transmissions on this week's Weekend Project. You'll find the Aircraft Band Receiver Project in Make Volume 9, and it's on page 27. My test subject is this vintage realistic AM-FM transistor radio. And fortunately, there was only one screw to remove on this radio, and using a screwdriver, I gently pried it apart, opened it up to reveal the circuit board inside. Now we need to identify the tuning capacitor, and that's usually near the knob that tunes the stations, and it's usually a clear plastic square. Now near that main tuning capacitor, you will find two small coils of copper wire uh, that are mounted on the circuit board. Now these are used to limit the frequency range of the radio. After locating them, we need to locate the tuning transformers. There are these little square metallic boxes uh, that have the tuning slot in the top, and one of the transformers may have a couple of small diodes near it mounted on the circuit board. This is the tuning transformer, and we're going to be using this to adjust it to filter out AM noise. Okay, now that we've identified those parts, we need to go ahead and put a battery back in if you had to remove yours to get the case open. And then we're going to turn the radio on and tune to an FM station that's at the upper end of the FM band. Take note of the dial position because we're going to see how that changes in just a second. Now back to those copper coils. You can identify which of the two copper coils controls the FM band just by touching it with a screwdriver and you'll hear a change in the sound. Now once you've identified the proper coil, Use that screwdriver and slightly spread out those copper coils. What we've done is expanded the FM range, and if you look at where your dial is located and try to find that station, you'll see that there's a whole lot of space left at the upper end of the FM dial. Remember that tuning transformer we first located? Well, now you need to tune the radio between stations so you hear just a slight amount of noise and slowly turn the adjustment screw on that transformer until the hiss is at its maximum level. Your radio should be ready to test out, so put it all back together, and here we go. This Make Weekend Project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. Okay, we've done the modifications to our little AM-FM radio here, and we're back at the airport, and uh, we're going to turn it on and see if we can pick up the VHF band and maybe hear some conversation coming from that air traffic control tower. And then we're going to adjust the FM band up above the 108 range and see if we can pick anything up. But there was something there. Well, there you go. We've successfully modified this vintage AM-FM transistor radio to pick up the VHF band, the civil air band, where there's a whole lot of different things that you can hear from the 108 to 138 range. So if you have an old radio lying around the house, give it a try. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.